So in this video, we are going to revisit the reasoning test with the bumper problem and the Marcus problem. You may remember these problems from my previous videos, but we, we have two five sentence long reasoning logic problems. And the bumper car problem is the easier of the two. And then the home Marcus's homework problem is the more difficult one. And the problem, the issue is with this logic problem is that there are five sentences in each problem. And the positioning of each sentence within the problem actually uh, affects the performance, the answer that the model gives to these problems. So what we're, what we're going to do actually is uh, get all five sentences and programmatically rearrange and test every combination and get answers like that. So there's going to be 100 total combinations for each problem. And we have already done this we're using in my previous videos with GPT Turbo all the way to Wizard 8x22 and Llama 3, 8 billion and 70 billion. If you want to watch that video, just find this on YouTube or at my website, echohive.live. And I go into details on this, but these were the results. As you can see, Opus actually was the clear winner with 107 answered correctly out of 120 problem in the hard problem. And Llama 70 billion was impressive at 85 and the latest GPT-4 Turbo actually did 98. So that was pretty good. And it did all of the bumper problems fully correctly. The only other model that did that was Mixtral 8x22 billion. But unfortunately, this mixture of expert models, both Mixtral and Wizard did terribly on the more difficult Marcus problem. So I have run already run this uh, against a GPT-4.0, and we will be revealing that towards the end of the video. But this uh, code base comes with quite a lot of stuff, and we'll be uh, talking about that. And code files for this will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. So we have three files. Uh, one to test GPT uh, class models from OpenAI, and you can test as many uh, models as you like by putting them into a list and you can test any number of combinations 120 is the max for these problems but if you have other problems it can be shuffled as far as its sentence structure is concerned we can actually add them here it will it will test all of those and actually create a correct and incorrect json object properly named for each model and also you can modify the system message as well and whatever system message you enter for these models right here will actually have an impact. So you can test uh, different configurations of system messages as well. And this actually runs uh, using the thread pool executor. So we actually execute 20, 20 questions in parallel. So this speeds up the process as well. We also have another split problem for cloud models. So you can use this. This will be included in the Patreon download. And for open source models using open router, so whatever models you want to test from Open Router, you can test it with this script. To make this happen, we are utilizing the OpenAI Unified class that I have created, also Cloud Unified class and Open Router Unified class. These will automatically detect your API keys from the environment variables, but you can also insert them in these unified classes right here next to the where the API key is. Okay, just keep that in mind. I will also include a chat open source script which allows you to pretty much chat with any open uh, router model. But currently I've set it up so you can chat with Llama 3, 8, 8 billion, 70 billion, Mixtral Wizard, and uh, Code Llama 34 billion. So you can actually this a chat, so you can try different ones. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours over three projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. So before we take a look at answers, the results, that is, let's actually run this and see how this script works. When we run this, our script is going to get initialized, and we initialize 20 instances of the class in parallel using Threadpool Executor. And are we going to get results real quick? See, correct, correct. So now we are getting our results. For example, this the model made a mistake. Once all 121 have been received, then it's going to move on to problem two. And now we're going to get the answers for that too. I do want to mention this new model is very fast. It's just great. Running this code still will cost you every time about approximately $2. Just keep that in mind. Maybe one and a half dollar. So now we're testing the second problem. 
total combinations, 120. If you want to test lesser combinations, just set this to something less than 120. And when the results arrive, we are actually writing it here. Okay, now let's take a look. Actually, right now for the bumper car problem, the latest results were that 117 correct and three incorrect. I have run this before and the results are actually pretty accurate. This 118 actually happened when I set the temperature to zero and I may have forgotten to, so yeah. So in this run, the temperature is set to zero. I'm actually gonna remove this, but you can set it right here at the get response method of the OpenAI Unified class because it accepts keyword arguments. You can set any parameter for the chat completions and it'll automatically be added here. Okay, uh, as you can see, the results within the JSON file and this is for Marcus latest and we got 105 correct and 15 wrong, but that is with temperature zero. So now let's actually take a look at what I found earlier. So these were the results I found. I ran it for the first time and GPT-40 got 117 correct for the bumper car problem but only 83 correct for the Marcus problem. So it didn't do even as well as GPT-4 Turbo and definitely didn't reach accuracy opus reached. And even Llama 70 billion did better than that. So I wanted to run it again in my second run. It again got on 117 correct for the bumper car problem and 89 correct this time for Marcus problem. And I wanted to try with temperature zero. That's why you saw that. And when I ran it, I got 118 correct and 97 correct. So that is about GPT-4 Turbo performance, but when I tested GPT-4 Turbo, I tested it with temperature one. So this number would have probably gone up if I were to set the temperature zero. So all these results, prior results were actually with a temperature one. So are the first try and the second try. So this is interesting. I do want to say I've been using it for coding and I will be making a video about with my autocoders. It is just incredible. I think it's a great model. It's very performant. It's not lazy at all. But unfortunately for this particular problem, it didn't do as well, just to keep that in mind. Now let's take a look at the code real quick. And before we do that, I, I do want to say the requirements for this is OpenAI term color and entropic. And again, like I said, all the code files, including with all the results, will be available at my Patreon. Link is in the description. So I, I thank you for your support. If you do become a patron and if you download this code, you can run it on your own problems. Anyway, we are using concurrent features Stratpool Executor for parallel operation. And we set the parallel run amount to 20. You probably don't want to go any higher than that. So we're going to do 20 parallel executions at the same time. We set the streaming to false. If you set this to true, then all the answers will be streaming, but they'll be all jumbled up because you will have 20 parallel runs streamed into the terminal. So we're setting it to false. Combinations to test, I set it arbitrarily to 10,000 because 120 is the max, but you can set it lower if you want to test less combinations. So you can actually uncomment this and test other models as well. But in this example, I only wanted to test GPT-4 out. The first problem is the bumper car problem. I also include the problems in the problem.txt. You can read it. The answer to bumper car problem is 23 yellow cars and the Marcus's homework problem is 24%. So we'll see why that is important. So we define two problems, create a list of them, and then loop over them, print it. Here's the system message. Feel free to change it. We split each of the sentences. Each of these problems have five sentences in them. So we split it. And now we use iter tools permutations to create sentence combinations. So this is going to be a list of 120 combinations. And now we shuffle them. So each time you run this, actually, the combinations are shuffled as well, the order of them. And now we define a function. Okay, it is mistakenly named as check plot response, but if you are in the GPT file, don't worry about that. It's just a small mistake on my part. So we give the sentence combination list a model name. Here we have the model name defined in the previous latest GPT-4 Turbo, but that's just the default. Later in the script, we are actually going to loop over the model names. Let me zoom in a little bit and replace that. Whatever is in the list that we have defined up here as far as models. And so this function is going to take in that, initialize the GPT calls class from the OpenAI Unified. And the same it will be true for cloud and open source examples. I mean, here, the Cloud Unified and Open Router Unified. So we instantiate this class with streaming set to false because in the model is set to model name. And if system message is empty, we add that system message. And then we reorder, we combine the reorder problem, turn it into a string. And then we add that as a message, as a user message. And then while through, we try to get a response. Here with the skip response, you can insert temperature and other parameters if you so wish. And if there's a rate limit error, we sleep for 30 seconds. This won't happen with GPT-4, but it can happen with other models, perhaps. And then if for a problem, if it's the first problem, 
we check for 23 in response. If it's the other problem, we check for 24%. This is how we actually rate the model, model's performance. And then we loop over the model names, and then we prepare a results dictionary. And I have a thread pool executor, set mix workers, set the parallel runs amount, which we have defined up here. And I have a thread pool executor. We submit to that executor the check clause response function with its arguments, combination, and model name for combination and sentence combinations. So this is going to 20 at a time. We'll complete the process all 120 of them. For feature is as features get completed, then we check if it's correct because the this function is going to return this. So if 23 in response, this will return true, otherwise false. We check that, and then we add that to the results dictionary. And then we do some checking in the file system to make sure so we can enumerate the files. So you can actually run this multiple times, and it'll enumerate it for the same model and the problem name. And then we dynamically create a, a file name for the model result files and which problem. And then we just json.dump it, as we have seen, just like that. That's it. So. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, do definitely check out my 1000x dev masterclass. The link is in the description. This is my latest course where I share my coding process and how I am able to code faster using AI assisted tools. Currently it has four chapters, but I'll be adding more to it, including a cursor deep dive on all the cursor features and how I use them. Do check it out. It is available for all patrons, $30 and above. So thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours over three projects. As a patron, you will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I, what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well.